Hey everyone, it's your humble and gracious host Hima. Um, so in this video, I'm gonna talk about Solana and uh, you know, looking at the charts and uh, see what's going on. Of course, due to the recent interest rates hike news, all the risk assets, including cryptos and your favorite tech stocks, are going down. But is this the end or the beginning? All right, but it doesn't matter, honestly. Um, I want to quote Jeff Bezos who said one time that the stock price doesn't necessarily indicate a bad asset Meaning that during the dot-com bubble, I think Amazon lost about 90% of its stock value um, I think it went to about cents like two cents or five cents or something but the company was making like really good profit margins. They were making money. Your stock at one point, I think, went to $100, but then it went down to six or something like that. At the peak of the internet bubble, our stock peaked somewhere around $113. Okay. And then after the internet bubble, uh, you know, busted open, our stock went down to six. It went from 113 to six in less than a year. Ouch. I, it, it's very, that whole period is very interesting because the stock is not the company and the company is not the stock. And so as I watched the stock fall from 113 to six, I was also watching all of our internal business metrics, number of customers, profit per unit, um, uh, you know, uh, everything you can imagine, defects, etc. Every single thing about the business was getting better and fast. But the stock price did not reflect the fact that the company was making money. So whether it's a bear market or a crash or whatever, it doesn't matter. If the asset is a performing asset, whether it's a stock or a crypto, um, you know, the long term potential is like really great and you don't have to worry about it. So that's my I'm like, look, I'm always bullish on crypto longer term. I think uh, Fiat currencies will not be there in 50 or 60 years, um, you know, maybe even less than that, 10, 20 years, who knows. Okay, so Solana, I'm looking at it, we are at $139. I made a video yesterday, it was at $160 and now it's at $139. So where will this go? All right, so what does the chart say? Now we are seeing, I'm on the weekly charts, um, and we are seeing a head and shoulders pattern and you know if you're watching my videos or if you have basic trading knowledge You know a head and shoulders pattern is usually a bearish pattern meaning that if you see a head and shoulders pattern somewhere It's gonna turn into a red sea And look where we at right now. So and you say you can see this long bar over here this massive long weekly bar as well and we are reaching the 200 moving day average line. Um, look, I have Solana. I haven't sold my Solana. Um, I don't think you should either. Again, this is not financial advice, all right? This video is only for education purposes only. <laughs> Keep that in mind as well. <laughs> um, but yeah, I haven't sold my Solana because like I told you, I don't care if this goes to zero because I'll be buying more Solana. Because I think Solana as a ecosystem has potential just as much as Ethereum. All right. And I think at 139 Solana is undervalued. Uh, Solana should be somewhere around five, six hundred dollars. That would be a justifiable price. They have really great NFT marketplaces. They have really good dApps coming on. It's a it's got long term potential. That's what I'm telling you. Um, so if we draw a line over here, Last year in September, Solana had his first parabolic move and then came down uh, and settled at $115. So this is a clear support level. You know, if a stock or an asset comes down and bounce back at a certain level, it's a support level, all right? Um, and then we went up to 260, which was a resistance. And then we slowly crashed from last November to January. So for two months about, be going downwards um so the next support level would be this 115 dollar or 100 dollar mark in my guess um, that's the psychological level but if something happens like i told you most of these cryptos have that bitcoin influence on them and if bitcoin goes to if 
Bitcoin goes to $30,000. Solana could come down further. All right. And you do not want to be holding a falling knife. You don't want to do that. If it comes down, if Solana, let's say if, if it breaks down this 120 support line, the next support line is going to be over here at $60. That's like, what? Well, I think almost 50%. Yeah, 57%. Um, look, I am not going to be buying Solana at this moment right now. I could be wrong. What I'm going to do is I'm going to wait a week or two to see how things pan out. Um, it all depends on Bitcoin. All right. What what's going to happen is when when there's panic selling happening, all of those stop losses get triggered and the market keeps going further down. That's what happened. It's like a domino effect. So I think Solana, look, right now also it's a bargain, but I don't want to be buying into Solana and then lose like 50% of the money. You know, that's, I don't think that's something that I could afford at the moment. So I'll just wait. And if Solana enters this region, this $60 to $100 region, this right over here, let me draw it for you guys. Let me draw it. Okay. Oh man. Okay. This region, if Solana comes in here, I don't know where it will settle down. This is a really good buy. If it comes down to this region, then I'm going to buy it. All right. Um, but again, like I told you, Solana is a really good project and you have to think longer term. It's not today, tomorrow, next month. What's it's going to be in five years, 10 years like that. Um, so I hope I gave you guys some sort of insight on what's going to happen. So this is the worst case scenario. Of course, best case scenario is we're going to an all time high and we missed a buying opportunity. But the worst case scenario is what I'm prepared for all the time um, because, you know, inter interest rates, they're going to go up. It's going to happen because inflation is really high. Um, so trade with caution, of course, uh, and don't go all in. Be, be very careful um, and put in money where you can afford to lose. All right. Don't don't put all of your money. Don't put your rent money in here. Don't put your fuel money in here. Be very careful. And I'll see you guys in another video. Until then, happy trading.